Making a change in your lifestyle for health reasons can be scary, correct? I know that this time of year a lot of people are thinking about maybe changing a few things in their life. Obviously, I have added two new additions in our lifestyle as well, and I'm going to share Moppy and Poppy's story with you, and hopefully it will inspire you to make health changes for the new year. Welcome to Sarah RD TV. I know that when change happens in someone's life, it can be difficult. If you're like me, I always have a feeling. Do you get a feeling like inside of you before you're making a change? Well, that's what happened when we adopted Moppy and Poppy a little bit over a week ago. And it wasn't that, you know, you know, I've probably talked about that I have chickens. I had a dog who was about 17 who passed away a couple years ago. Life's been busy with work and kids. For some reason, I found myself looking online for small dogs at shelters. And so that led us to adopting Moppy and Poppy a week ago from the Humane Society. The reason that we have both of them is because they were found together. They were found together back in October, and I'm thinking, was it because of the hurricane, Hurricane Irma? We don't really know their story, and so unfortunately that's why we can't really do an interview. I would love to know what your lifestyle was like before we adopted you, but all we know is that they had to be adopted together. So I'm looking at their sweet faces online. In the past we had a, um, what was he, a Shipu, a sheep, a sheep, a sheep uh, Shih Tzu Poodle. So when I saw Moppy's face, and he, uh, Moppy is a Lhasa Shih Tzu, and Poppy here, actually we re renamed her, well, and then Moppy, they named her that, him, sorry, in the Humane Society, so they're still getting to know their names. But, you know, I looked at his face online, and I thought, well, he has a sweet face. And then you go to interview, not interview, <laughs> You go to meet the dogs, right, at the Humane Society, and how was it? Do you want to share how it was when we went there? Noisy. And well, it was noisy. There were a lot of dogs. These were the only two. There were mostly cats. A lot of cats, yep. A lot of loud dogs. And, and special place for the cats. Special place for the cats. So when we, when we looked at, the, at these two, they were both very chill. I mean, is this not crazy how chill they are? So I thought, okay, well, and of course I had a lot of questions, as any registered dietitian um, knows, we ask a lot of questions, especially when we're doing assessment on new clients. So I asked the Humane Society a lot of questions about these two dogs, and of course they don't know a lot about their history either, but they did say that they like to be together, and the deal is you have to adapt them together. So Moppy, based on dental records, is about five, and Poppy here is about ten. And what, what I didn't realize when we, when we went there to meet them is the lady there said, uh, Moppy's a little bit what we consider overweight for a dog. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I saw him walk, and um, sure enough, he looked like he you know, needed to be a little bit healthier. And so I thought, you know, this is quite interesting. Why, why am I wanting to adapt a dog that does not have a healthy lifestyle. We don't know. I would love to ask Moppy. Moppy, what was your lifestyle like? Did you live in an apartment? Did you watch TV all day? Were you, what were you eating? You know, that's the dietitian that comes out, of course. So we don't know. But as soon as we brought them home, a couple things happened. First of all, little orphan Annie here was running through the house and totally had a feeling of, yeah, I am home, I am home. And then this one here, Poppy, just totally is a lap dog and is chill and loves to be pet, you know, she, she loves the couch, yeah, she just likes to be warm and snuggly and is pretty chill as you can see. So here's where I'm going for new health goals for 2018. Moppy here is on the Healthy Lifestyle Tampa Bay program. Do you know what that means? That means I did a little assessment on Moppy to see how much he was eating, to see was what his activity level is like, and we'll see how he's going to be changing throughout the year. I do know that diets don't work, right? No one here is on a diet. And instead, we're doing a lifestyle change with physical activity and just nutritious foods, because that's what life is all about. So if you live locally in the Tampa Bay area, you're going to meet Moppy and Poppy in the office because they 
are just there to chill with you, to listen to your goals that you want to make with me as a registered dietitian and with my coworkers. And online, if you want to know the progress, I will be sharing updates on the health status of both of these animals. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Are you happy to have the dogs? <laughs> huh? Yeah, we're pretty happy to have the dogs. So also, you may see me out walking because now I'm back to being a dog life mom again. So I hope to see you in St. Pete, Tampa Bay area. And if not, stay tuned to awesome videos for 2018. Take care.